If your mower is constantly smoking, doesn't matter if it's a little bit or a lot, you got an issue. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. Hope everybody's having a great week. Is your machine smoking? Doesn't matter if it's a rider, generator, walk behind mower, or a trimmer. Today, we're gonna go over why your unit's smoking so you can figure it out, fix it all by yourself, and hopefully save you some time, money, and frustration in the future. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments, and I'll reply to all the early commenters. Now, there's only a few reasons that your unit is probably smoking, and once you're able to identify those reasons, it'll lead you in the right diagnosing direction. Hands down, the most common reason for smoking is way too much oil. We normally see this after a customer has changed their own oil and they did not know how much to put back in. Now, this doesn't necessarily hurt your machine. It just will smoke annoyingly until it burns all that extra oil off, which might take a while depending on how much you overfilled it. Now, if you're changing your oil, of course, the best thing to do is check the gauge on your little oil filler dipstick. Make sure you're between the arrows. You don't want too li little and you don't want too much. But most manufacturers do actually make the exact size needed for whichever engine you're using. Like most Briggs, like the walk behind units, all take about 18 ounces. But Hondas, on the other hand, they take about 12 to 13, but they have a bottle that size. No matter what oil you're using, always make sure that you're using an actual lawnmower oil or one that contains zinc in it. Because most of these mowers have flat tappet cams and it will help out exponentially with the life of your machine. Now, the number two biggest reason that your machine might be smoking, to figure it out, you're gonna have to smell your dipstick. You are going to find two distinct spells. You either have just straight regular oil or you have gasoline in your oil. And a crankcase full of gas is not a good thing. Because while running it just with too full of oil might just foul out a plug or gum up your valves, it's not detrimental. Running it with gas in the oil, that can mess some things up. Now, if you find gas in your oil, you got to get rid of it. Pour it all out. But don't just think you can do that. Put some oil back in it and you're good to go. Because there's a reason that that gas is in your crankcase. And the culprit is always that the needle didn't shut off in your carburetor. So at that point, you need to clean your carburetor. Maybe put a kit in it, maybe just a needle, let it sit for a while after you put fuel in it, see if it's gonna leak through again before you put fresh oil. Cause you don't wanna have to drain it all again. If it's not leaking, you're good to go. Put some oil in it and you shouldn't see an issue. Now there are indicators on what it is. If it's an oil issue or a fuel issue. If you have white or blue smoke, that's usually an oil issue. If you have black smoke, you got a fuel issue. Now, the third most common reason I see at my repair shop why a, a mower is smoking is because somebody turned it on its side. I see this a lot with pressure washers too. When people have them in the back of their truck, they think they can lay them down. Absolutely not. You never, ever, ever, ever turn a mower towards the carburetor side when you're looking underneath the deck. You can turn it towards the exhaust side for a little bit, but if you're going to go for experience, an extended period of time, you want to make sure that the piston is at top dead center. But the best way to look underneath your mower is by pushing the mower back. Same thing with a pressure washer. If you need to turn it on its side for some reason, definitely always go backwards with it. Now, if you had your machine turned towards the carburetor side, it leaks oil into the carburetor. What happens then? You gotta have your carburetor cleaned out. If you have it turned towards the muffler side, it's not that big of a deal because although it might leak a little bit of oil into your exhaust, it should burn out the first time you run it. Now, riders are exactly the same as the walk behind mowers and generators and stuff like that. It has the same issues if you overfill it with oil or if your crankcase is full of gas. But there's also other reasons it might be smoking. Now, this mower is an oily residue mess. It's got oil le leaking from the crankcase gasket, from the seal, probably from the overhead valve covers. It, it's all over the place. <laughs> but we gotta clean it off, let it run before we could actually find where everywhere that it's leaking from. But 
to show you on a lot of these engines, the overhead valve cover, especially on the Kohlers, they have like a, a V-shaped one with a cork gasket on the front. If these start leaking oil, they will leak right onto your exhaust and it'll smoke. Now, if you've checked all those simple things on your rider and it's still smoking, you might have a head gasket issue, depending on which engine you have. We've seen it mostly on the Briggs & Stratton overhead valve, uh, like the 17 horsepower to the 21 horsepower. Not saying you might not see this on another engine, it's just the one we see it on the most. We do see an issue where the head gasket between the push rod valley and the cylinder is not sealing anymore, and that can cause a smoking issue. Usually a new head gasket will fix you right up. Now, if you've checked all those simple things and you're still smoking, you might have issues. Could be worst case scenario. Your piston cylinder could be completely worn out, and there can be a lot of reasons for that. The unit might just be old, and over the years, the cylinder's gotten worn down to where it can't hold compression anymore. There's also reasons that new engines can get burned up or scored. This can be caused by lack of lubrication, overheating, contamination. I see this a lot whenever somebody doesn't have their air filter on correctly or their air filter missing altogether. It'll suck in debris, rub between the piston and cylinder wall and score it up. Just mixing your fuel improperly one time can lead to overheating and a complete piston and cylinder score. You might not even notice if you have a carbon buildup inside of your cylinder, chunks can break off, get between the cylinder wall and completely burn it up. And unfortunately, if you have a ring issue on some of these smaller mowers, they're just not worth re-honing and putting rings in anymore. They're just too cheap. Now there are four stroke trimmers and, and like, um, augers and stuff like that, those I see smoking in the shop a lot. And that's because customers fill them up with too much oil. When you go to put oil in those, you do have to make sure that they are sitting flat. A lot of people think you have to turn them up on their side or something like that. Absolutely not. Have the gas tank sitting flat and that's how you fill the oil. When you see it rise up to the bottom of those threads, you got enough oil in there. When it comes to two stroke stuff, there's only a few reasons it could be smoking. One, you just added too much oil to your gas mix. That's not gonna hurt it. It just might foul out a plug and clog up your exhaust. Two simple fixes. Your machine might be adjusted incorrectly to where it's not getting enough air and too much fuel. Or like the four strokes, you might have bad rings. But the majority of the time, it's one of those two, your oil mix or a bad adjustment. Also guys, it doesn't matter what unit you have, if it's a two stroke or a four stroke, if your air filter is clogged and it is choking and cannot breathe, you are gonna to get too much gas. It is gonna flood out, it is gonna burn up and it's gonna smoke. Well guys, that's about it. Hopefully knowing how to diagnose your smoking issue will lead you in the right direction for repair and save you some time, money and frustration in the future. So thanks again for tuning back into Dracanic. If you find yourself coming back over and over again, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you ain't tired of me yet, check this video out right here.